Straps is an extremely rare disease, probably affecting about one per million, perhaps two per million. Uh, and it onsets very early in life and childhood and then persists throughout life uh, with really very devastating effects, both on quality of life, but also in terms of risks of long-term side effects, particularly AA amyloidosis. TRAPS varies between being an episodic disease of episodes of fever and systemic inflammation, often causing severe muscle pain, um, sometimes severe abdominal pain and rash, which can last anything up to weeks to in quite a lot of adults actually being a continuous disease which may get worse and get a bit better again but which never entirely goes. Historically treatment was very ineffective. Uh, many patients ended up steroid dependent but they depended on very high dose of steroids and therefore got very very severe corticosteroid toxicity which is, has its own devastating consequences. With the introduction of biologics uh, these were tried in traps and because this is a disease due to the T mutations in the TNF receptor, the first biologics tried were the anti-TNF drugs. And these were actually very disappointing. Uh, so infliximab, paradoxically, seems to often worsen disease. And etanercept, although there was some mild um, benefit initially, for most patients it's lost uh, really fairly rapidly. So patients had done very badly, and we had really relied either on symptomatic treatment with non-steroidals or on high-dose corticosteroids, but uh, were running into trouble with this. And so the discovery that uh, IL-1 blockade using IL-1 receptor antagonist uh, aborted patient symptoms and seemed to be safe in the long term was dramatically useful. Uh, but it's moving on from that to specific IL-1 beta blockade with a longer acting agent is more patient tolerable, particularly in children and adolescents. Um, and has completely transformed outcomes. So this was a disease that was life destroying, usually life shortening and associated with very, very severe side effects in terms of treatment. And we're now really telling patients and parents that this is a disease which can be lifelong controlled and that we're very optimistic that they will have a pretty much normal health experience and indeed full life experience.